all right so we are back and um, we go to the settings um for pancake so sa settings ito there are several several um topics na hati natin una dito is yung operational okay so ano ba yung madalas natin lang na gamitin as for example you're just starting out um ano yung mga general settings na makita natin so ngayon these are the, the default settings i can and i'll try to uh, explain yung mga isa-isa niyan but we cannot cover everything you know, kung ano lang kailangan natin for now durun tayo sa advanced kapag uh, if you want to you know know everything about this so basically meron ka lang new message notification just you know kung gusto mo lang i-turn off and on madali siya intindihin just you know toggle the switch lang sound yung unread then gusto mo mag uh, notify din siya kapag may uh, uh, I mean, mag-auto-like ka kapag may nag-reply. Ayan, di ba? Kapag may reply mayroon well, nag-reply ka dun sa comment ng isang uh, subscriber sa page, sa post. So, mag-auto-like siya. So, be careful lang dito. Like, for example, ang kinoment mo is um, something na hindi dapat nila like. For example, gusto mo, heart. So, always like siya. Okay? So, pwede ka din mag-gumawa ng auto order. Sabi dito nakalagay, create auto order on POS automatically if customer's message contain phone number so what does it mean uh, dito kasi sa pancake na kaya niya i-detect na okay you can determine kapag ah panaglib siya ng phone number order na yun and it will go back doon sa POS so you can only see this kung naka-enable na yung PNS, POS so POS is another module uh, na makikita natin but for now I, uh, yung POS kasi is the mismong um, uh, si, uh, system para sa mga orders, okay? So, automatic siya. Pag nakita niya yung phone number, automatic magkikreate na siya doon. So, um, yung operator or yung admin doon sa POS is kaya niya i-process doon. So, makikita niya lahat ng details na galing sa conversation dito sa pancake. So, what else? So, auto-hide, uh, I'll, I'll advise just to leave it like this para hindi ka ma-confuse at hindi um, magwala <laughs> yung uh, ating pancake. So, make sure lang na ito, malabasin ko kapag meron ka nakakonect ng bot cake. Bot cake is another uh, module which is yung uh, automation ng mga replies o yung, mga, yung chat bot ni pancake. Okay? So, dito kasi naka-synchronization naka tags but normally, hindi mo siya makikita kung wala ka pang bot cake na naka-set up. So, just ignore that and yung iba just leave it like that the next thing next thing is yung conversation tags so sa conversation tags ito yung mga colors and then yung name ng tags every time you uh, talk to a, a subscriber makikita mo yan dito so ito yung mga tags na i-mark i ng mismo ng assistant kapag meron siyang uh, um, uh, transaction with with the with the subscriber or the user or the buyer. So for example, pwede mo siyang baguhin. For example, ito itong tao na to is just inquiring. So yung stage niya makikita mo nag-iiba yung kulay. So yung next agent makikita niya, for example, inquiring lang, so niya i-filter by color ang uh, sino yung nag inquire and sino yung may may issue, sino yung urgent, sino yung reply later. So obviously, hindi mo <laughs> hindi mo ilalagay lahat ng uh, tag na yan. So, yung uh, user, pwede niyang ilagay na reply later because maybe something na kailangan i-note. Okay? So, yan. So, pwede mo akong ilagay ng note like, sabol, to reply user, um, uh, pwede, waiting for his phone number. Okay? So, yung next agent, kung yari, uh, tanggal natin filter, no? Next agent, pag nakita niya ito, um, so, okay, let's go to a conversation again. Then, for example, gusto niyang i-note, uh, ano ba yung reply later? Ah, so hindi ito hindi pa naka-close. Pag-click niya, makita niya note. Okay? So, good thing meron itong note para yung mga um, users dito sa Pancake, makita niya ano ba yung what happened to this uh, transaction sa customer na ito. So, uh, itong maganda isang feature na i-note lang kung ano ba yung status niya. But aside from that, uh, we just have to stick with this uh, tags muna. You can actually 
add another tag. No? So let's go back to settings. Then conversation tag. Pwede ka mag-add ng mga tags as many as you can here. So, yan. Unlimited siya. But syempre, yung kulay, um, you have to decide kasi flexible. Very, very flexible yung uh, tags. So, let, let, let's try to refresh this again. No? Make sure na hindi siya nakasave para pinagulo. But, yun nga. Kung, if, for example, um, tag 5. Tag, uh, kung wala yung panibagong tag, like ito, like uh, interested in product interested uh prod one p1 or again mo dito um ang tag natin for example yung uh credit card so we'll credit card obviously wala naman ganyan but uh, just just for the sake of uh, example just make sure it's saved and then we go to conversation you see that nadagdagan na yung uh, mas dumadami pa yan kung depende sa strategy but later on doon tayo sa strategy kung ano man yung kailangan na uh, uh, tags na nandyan so let's go back to settings so you can you know pwede ka maglagay ng multiple tags kung kailangan all full tags mode okay so ano ba yung full tags mode makikita nyo na makikita mo dito yung mismong pangalan imbis na merong bilog lang dyan. So, kitang-kita siya. Okay? So, yung users, kung hindi pa sanay, pwede mo gawin yan. But, it's your choice. Okay? At least, you have the uh, the name, yung tagging. So, yun yung um, full tags mode. Or, multi-tag filter mode. Okay? But, this one is uh, kind of uh, mas complicated, but actually, it will just filter by or and end. Okay? So, A or B. So, later on, we will talk about that. Kung para saan yan. At ano yung advantage yan. But for now, just leave it off. Para antay man, man ito. So, yan. Yeah, so, andito yung, andito yung actually yung data. Na pwede mo siyang basahin. Alright? Allows simultaneous filtering of multiple tags. Conversation contains one of two or their tags. Then, conversation contains... So, never mind that muna. Uh, para antay magulo. So, just leave it the uh, conversation tags as is. So, actually, you can uh, also synchronize it. For example, meron ka ng ibang page na connect. I pwede mo isynchronize yung tags sa kabilang page. For example, you, you built a system already sa mga uh, assistant na eh, ito yung mga tags and then sa kabilang shop mo naman o sa kabilang page mo naman is meron kang gusto mong gayahin no? para ma-replicate mo siya or sa client or anyone any any basta any page siya pwede mo siyang i-sync papunta okay or sync pa, pabalik pala so kukunin mo siya okay so that's the tags and it's really important let's go to a uh, replying helper uh our reply helper is just you know may auto may quick reply ano ba yung quick reply just okay buksan natin sa kabilang window yung quick reply so in quick reply Quick reply, actually, for if we go to conversation, okay, click mo yan, meron yan dito na quick reply. So, I have made a quick reply, like yung paano mag-order, pag kinlik ko yan, uh, and then, nakakaroon siya ng free text dito, so you can just send, like, pag in-enter ko siyang ganyan, yun na mag-respond sa subscriber mismo. Okay? So, dapat mag-alert na yan doon sa user. Okay, na, yan nga yung uh, uh, sinend mo. So let's just clear the tags and then show all. Okay. So yan yung sinula. Okay. So now, go back here. Enable mo siya. Ngayon, pag tinanggal mo yan, syempre mawawala yan. You can actually create another quick reply here. And then there is a shortcut. For example, ito, pag nag-type ka ng slash, lalabas ito yung mga ginawa mo ng quick reply para mas mabilis. So, for example, dash Q, and then, yan na yung shortcut, and just enter. Isisend dyan na agad yung uh, ginawa mong quick reply. Just that, meron siyang shortcut pag tinayip mo yung slash. Ito, ginagamit ito kung maramihan na, tsaka yung matagal ka ng team, and then, nag uh, chat, -chat sa page. Uh, ito yung magandang i-utilize para mas mabilis yung trabaho at mas maayos. Okay? Kung madami ka na ginawang quick reply, 
And I suggest you create a lot of quick replies. Alam ko sa every transaction on sales, um, iba't iba yung mga quick reply na pwede mong ilagay. Actually, you can you know, import and you know, the, uh, export ng mga quick reply or just sync mo siya sa from page. For example, uh, gumana to, uh, mas maganda tong order uh, script na ito. Uh, just to order, kind of fill up your form below so we can proceed. So anything like gusto mo Tagalog, pwede mo siyang gawin dyan. Basta it's just a ready um, uh, template na pwede nilang isend doon sa sa buyers. So you can also you know, group it from topic, like you create a topic, okay? And then you know, click mo yan, fresh. Click, click reply. I think you have to. Yeah, you have to. Uh, um, you know, parang isu sort mo siya. Na ito yung topic uh, pupunta dito. Okay. So, but it's it's not really it's not really. Um, hindi siya kailangan yun. But just focus on quick reply. So dito ka gagawa ng quick reply. Make sure to click save para uh, pag nasa conversation tayo is nandun na yung mga quick reply dito and or a command. So it's just simple as that. Then go back to display. So uh, ito just, just customize and display like show primary assigned account on conversation list. For example, yan and then uh, refresh natin. Okay. So uh, actually, um, what what I made here is <laughs> is um, I I don't want to respond to comment. So I was wondering, saan pa yung message kanina? Hindi nag message, but ano kasi tayo sa comment just to uh, fill the gaps. So if we if we uh, click this, no, and then click natin to you comment or send message to customer like. So we have to click this para pumunta tayo dun sa comment sa post mismo, makikita natin mga comments. So, dito, sinend natin ito. So, automatic, ito'y pupunta doon sa comments kasi naka-comments tayo kanina. So, hindi, ah, uh, I thought it was uh, uh, inbox. So, okay. So, make sure na nakikita mo to na, or, you know, nag-reply ka through inbox o nag-reply ka through comment. Okay? So, for here, makikita mo, uh, automatic, dito na pupunta yung comments sa using uh no using uh, pancake so si user pwede pwede siya dito mag reply okay mag reply ako for example as a subscriber dito then sabihin ko uh, name so Juan then address then number example ito so 917 uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then ano ba yung format? So, oh, product 1 and then 2 and then agree <clears throat> So, if you see that mag-alert siya dito sa comment So, dapat makikita niya dito So, nakita niyo is um, updated na kagad na dito So, nadetect ngayon ni uh, Pancake yung usapan na may phone number Okay, so that that's how you uh, navigate no sa pabalik pagaling dito sa sa comments. So this one, uh, we will be tackling this on another lesson, yung round robin. But uh, basically, is uh, parang iikuti niya yung conversation no? parang sharing features sa iba't ibang employees. But we won't be tackling that for now. It's a, a different lesson. Also, you can create a signature like um, yung tagline ng company or pwedeng ilagay yung pangalan ng user dito. So, depende yung signature para sa email, merong parang last part ng email. Signature like, yun nga. So, pwedeng malagay yung um, pangalan ng page or you can, actually, ang maganda dito pwede ka malagay ng upsell. Like, for example, ang signature dito, enable natin. Um, um, natin um, grab a free uh, mug if you order um, until order 
until kunyari, uh, March 4. Ayan. So, pwede, ka, pwede mo siyang isave. Like, pag nag-reply ka, yun ang lalabas. So, let's try dun sa inbox. Na. So, sa inbox, okay. Thank you very much. Pero hindi siya interested yung kasi mag-reply tayo. Not interested. Not interested. I'm replying from my phone. So, for example, ang reply niya is not interested. So, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Click mo siya. And then, every time na nag-chat ka, is, um, and hold on. Okay. After a message, I think. Okay, so let's try to refresh this. Kapag siya ay nag-reply. Hindi ako nag-reply. Okay. So dito, go to this, and just, we have to reply. Reply here. Okay, thanks. Yan. So makita mo, meron na siya itong signature. So at least, you have, parang you, you are upselling on something, like kung may promo, May thanks, then meron kang PS. Pwede mo lagay PS dito, like, dito, um, parang PS, limited offer, ayan, so, parang nag, uh, nag-chat ka ulit, okay po, then, ay, hindi pa siya nag-refresh, nag, uh, just have to refresh it, So, na-save ko ba siya? Okay, it's, it's save. So, we have to uh, kinda, hmm, refresh it for a bit. Then, kapag nag-type tayo, mayroon na siya, ma-update na siya yung signature. It's really good if you have ano, um, a specific message sa mga subscribers. And, syempre, if you go to settings history, makita mo lahat ng mga changes and kung sino yung nag-change. Okay, so, kung may kailangan kayong i- um, mga settings, you can click that, no? Also, you can back up every step na, wala well, ito. Um, so, mo i-back up to, ito, i-back up mo, click mo yan, then back up, uh, I mean, click mo to, and then back up, you can download the settings mismo. Right, so that's about it, that's the settings, and it's a, it's a basic setting, so later on, uh, makita nyo kung paano mag evolve yung settings along the way, kapag medyo naging meron ng laman yung ating uh, pancake uh, transactions.